Greetings, this is Shane Ross, and I want to show you a new feature that came out with Media Composer 7. One that's kind of been plaguing us editors ever since Media Composer 6 came out, and that is the size of the mixer. Now, in 5.5 and earlier, the mixer was really small and would fit into a small little corner up here, and we could just type in numbers, and that would be it. But Ever since Media Composer 6 and 6.5, that mixer got gigantic. Now, I'm doing this on a laptop, so I have everything crammed into one window. But normally I'd be on a tower, or I'd have two monitors on this, and I'd have these bins and project window on a different monitor, and I'd still have some room for my mixer. But I want to show you the mixer as, you know, we're kind of used to it now. Uh, audio mixer. Now, this is the one that came up in Media Composer 6, and it got really gigantic. And as you can see, it's just a beast to contend with. It's got a lot of features, but for some of us editors, we just like the simple things. Now, with Media Composer 7, this mixer is now fully customizable. All you need to do is go up to this little hamburger menu right here, click on that, and go down to Set Display Options. When you do this, you have a whole bunch of options that you can turn on or turn off. Now, I don't like to see the meters, and I don't really need to see the faders. Uh, mute and solo buttons, I can leave those on there. Let's just hit apply and see what happens when I do that. Wow, the mixer got really small. And as you see, I have a 16 channel mixer here. It's only showing 13 because all I have is 13, but now it's really small. Oops, I have to hit OK over here. And I can drag this smaller, and boom. Now, if I wanted to, I could even get rid of that little center pan thing. Let us do that. Set display options. Get rid of pan controls, apply, and it's a lot smaller. And all we need to do is type in the numbers, click OK again, type in the numbers, and we can make it any size we want. So now we have this little small mixer that we had before. Now unfortunately, without the pan controls, we really can't center pan anything like we need to. So let's turn those back on and hit apply, because it really doesn't make it any wider. It just makes it a little bit longer, which is still fine if I want to put this up in a little corner that I had it. Oops, got to hit OK again and put it up there and be able to type in the numbers as I want them. And as you want to, if you want to, you can just make it a little bit smaller like this. So it only shows like say six channels and you just scroll over like that. And that's it. Avid has given us back this nice small mixer that we've been missing all these years.